up, Woody Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Diamond in the Rough chapters 43 through 49. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And now we ain't sponsored by Shwisha. And now we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, well, we're in Ku's hometown now. And it's a very racist one at that. And um, her brother Oma is running things there. And uh, there's a lot of trouble afoot. There's a lot of fuckery, fuckery, fuckery afoot. Well, let's get to this chapter. I start with chapter 43 here. See what's in store for us today. Such overwhelming technological advancements. What's for dinner? Um, the drawbridge to the third island is closed. See you. The drilling hasn't been going well. Next, um, next time is on me. I was thinking of expanding machine sales down south. Forget about it. Those country bumpkins won't buy them. What I want to move uh, south is mineral excavations. Yeah, well, the well is running dry. Wait. Yeah, the well is running dry here. Whoa, Silver Scale Village sure is a sight to behold. I wish I could have explored it together with Master Benito. You like it that much? I've had my fill. Too scary. It's amazing to get um, to get such massive machinery to move. You need a tremendous power source, right? But resources are hard to come by these days. So you must be operating them with exceptional te uh, technical skill. Yeah. Uh, feeling the warmth of uh, the moment on his back. Aw, the tiger. Aw, the baby. Where's my... Oh, my little baby is passed out in front of me. Speaking of. Chapter 43 is titled, What Lies Below? Using the diamond in the rough to resolve the resource crisis plaguing the four continents? I'm just trying to guess Oma's intentions, but if that is what he's after, it would cer uh, certainly explain some things, such as the reason why uh, Mumio was not put on trial. Oh, that's right, that bitch was not put on trial. I see, Kai being chosen as a diamond in the rough candidate increases the chances of resolving the resource crisis. Remember, there's another... Um, person as a candidate as well there's probably another if there's um two already there's probably more even so a simple question remains does the diamond in the rough have such power it is said he will be able to use the ability of every stone but i can't imagine that covers every but um every resource on the four continents true we should try going to the center after all really my brother agreed to come along to the ruins like I said, um, well, like I was saying, we leave tomorrow afternoon because of Oma's schedule. But, well, I thought you didn't get along with him. When we were kids, he always made time to play with me right up until the stone matching ritual. That's why I want to show him how useful the power of my tiger's eye can be. Then maybe we'll be able to talk again like we used to. Hey, um, sorry to interrupt you. It's just I'm really worried about Master Benito. Since Sakon and Oma are going, going to um, go, uh, could I head back? Of course. Right. Uh, no problem. I'll take you to Old Man Bao. Hey, in that case, I know a shortcut. We're down to the last 20% of our guiding force reserves. That's down two points from last year, you know. Um, we should be increasing uh, ore, mine, um, ore mining volumes. Even if we do, we won't find anything. You made a ruckus uh, like this last year, but things were fine by the final quarter. This time, um, time will be the same. You're being too lax. We need to start looking for alternatives. By the time resources run out, our hands will be tied. This comes up time and time again. But in these last 10 years, it's never become a problem. More importantly, if things go south, we can always rely on the former Lord's powers. Uh, right? Right. If our inability, if our ability inheritance research goes well, Oma, let's hear what you think of all this. And this is the former Lord of Silverscale Village, um, Oryu. Um, all things considered, realistically speaking, the fastest solution is turning to um, an EV mine to purchase artificial gems um, for financial aid. We should also begin cooperating with the stone eaters on ore craftsman um, technique research. He's right, though. He's laughing. Why are they laughing? Working with stone eaters? What good could those primitives be to us? Are you fucking serious? Come on. Lord Alma, that just won't do. That's practically begging to be sold low quality goods. I have no need for fruitless reports. Return to your post at once and bring me some real results. 
Is he seriously considering working with the um, with stone eaters? No way. I'm starting to see why uh, they call him the weakest of the stones. Oh, fuck, are you for real? What are you doing then? What's your solutions? Your solutions ain't shit. They call him the weakest of the stone sides, dude. He's not the weakest. You motherfuckers are stupid. What was that foolishness just now? Even for a joke, it was in poor taste. Besides, you're in no position to utter such lip service. My apologies. This discussion is over. Father, just one thing. May I receive uh, permission, permission to enter the ruins? What for? Then you intend to blame this entire situation on the diamond in the rough? Some historians from uh, the center would like to visit. Do as you please. Just make sure they are careful. Lord Oma, I brought your lunch. Um... A little on the soft side, just the way you like them. And here are the documents you requested. Thank you. Try not to make too many enemies. Ooh, jeez. It's not like I had any allies to begin with. <laughs> is this the shortcut? Crossing all the bridges takes time, so going beneath it all is a shortcut. I see. Why are you tagging along? I don't really have anything else to do. Your master sure doesn't look okay with this. We need to see, uh, see to it that uh, Kuragani gets there safely. Can't handle being in confined dark spaces all poor. Poor, poor, poor baby. Um, this is normal. Uh, don't worry. You two are both impossible. Hey, the more the merrier. This takes me back. Could lose me in here so she could uh, skip her lessons. Why? I don't remember that. Hold it. There's someone here. What? A stone eater child? For, forgive me. Ah, she's got a burning fever. I'll, I'll go, uh, go get a doctor. Coo, don't, but involving doctors from Silver Scale will just make uh, more trouble. Do you want me to bring my master instead? Uh, that's a good idea. Leave the child to me. Uh, where did she come from? Wandered in from outside, maybe? Coo, what's wrong? This hole, it wasn't here when I was little. Could this be where she came from? Coo, I'm going after her. What? That's dangerous. Wait, wait for me. How did you two even fit in there? Coo, Coo, damn it, so cramped. Oof. Uh oh. Where, where am I? What? Just children with no horns? Dude, did they make a village? A village of stone eaters? Kai, get out of here quickly, huh? Why? Hurry. My body is feeling weirdly heavy. Coo, why? Just what is going on here? Tension rises in the mysterious underground square. What the fuck is happening? Why are there stone eaters um, living hidden underneath a silver scale village? The hair raising truth behind the uh, mysterious underground village. And chapter 44 is titled Paradise. Stone Crusher, Stone Crusher, whoa! Kai, Ku, are you, that was too close. Oh, my bad. What is this place? Ku, what happened to her? I don't know, she collapsed all of a sudden. All of you. Get back here quickly. You can't be here. This place. Uh, this place looks away your guiding force. Whoa. Mainlanders. Um, I apologize. Sorry, mainlanders. I apologize for the trouble one of ours uh, has caused you. I'm Une, the chief of this village. This place is difficult to bear for those of the mainland. This way, please. Ooh. This room minimizes the absorption of guiding force. I'll replenish the guiding force that was pulled from her. Oh, thank you. Uh, cool. Um, Ku, cool. Master, even amongst our villagers, those um, with low reserves um, of guiding force uh, tend to collapse. That's why this child is so frail. Um, her father suffers from a similar condition. She must have continued mining deeper and deeper in hopes of helping him. To think she caused outsiders to find us here. Our profound apologies. Um, so the guiding force being sucked away, could it be that, unfortunately, it's exactly as you imagined? We are Silver Scale Village's power source! What? Please lend your ears to our tale. Look, this, wait a minute! This sounds a lot like Moggy! This happened in Moggy! First we went from, or we had, oh, this, we were getting shit in Orient, and now we're getting shit from Moggy! Yeah, the inspiration is real. Long, I'm not saying it was stolen. I'm saying it was inspired by. It, it's because this ain't a straight up copy. Let's be fucking real. This is just inspired. 
Long ago, there was a great war between the Mainlanders and the Stone Eaters. The Stone Eaters' land was robbed from them. See, this is why I'm saying it's inspired. The Stone Eaters' land was robbed from them, and so most uh, fled south. However, some were unable to flee. The one who, was, who uh, saved them was the Lord of Silverscale Village. We were left in peace unper, um, unpursued. And uh, they provided us with clothes, food, and shelter. The place was pa this place was paradise to us. Young lady, you are the daughter of Silverscale's lord, are you not? If you knew nothing of this place before, please continue as if that were the case. I beg of you. We can't do that. Even if it's paradise to you, that child must feel um, it's a, a prison she wants to escape from. How could I possibly pretend I never saw that? Dude, this really is making me think of... Um, uh, oh my god. I think we think of Twin Star Exorcist. Uh, Outcast Valley, there we go. Tw Kai, um, you know, for a stone eater, a stone eater child, the outside world isn't exactly a friendly, a friendly place. How can you be satisfied with this? Can't you see how much your daughter is suffering? I, I'm tired, so please, we have nothing more to say. Now, if you would excuse us, wait. Hi, I also think this is a huge problem, but we need to verify all the facts before. Does your brother know that this is going on? Well, does he know? Does he or, do, or doesn't he? These people are practically sl are basically slaves. Coo. Sorry, I'll head back first. Lord Oma is busy with official business for the rest of the day. Coo. I know it just doesn't make sense, but despite all of it, I want to believe in my brother. That hill up ahead, um, the ruins are there, apparently. If you're so interested, you should have gone with them. What? I'm not interested. He still can't be honest with himself. He's being such a sunder. More importantly, that strange sensation I felt back there. As if she'd always been drained. What? This is it. Are the silver scale, um, this is it. Um, are this, uh, these are the, uh, oh my God. This is it, um. Uh, these are the silver uh, scale village ruins. Oh, this is awkward. The usual team spirit is missing. Let's get to chapter 45. Do to do. These are the silver scale ruins. And this chapter is titled The Decision. Um, the door to an unknown world is about to open. Cool. Sorry, but I just got to know. Do you know about the stone eaters living underground? Kai! Where did you hear about that? We happened across them accidentally when we were traveling underground. I see. Alma, brother, amethyst, purple chains. Oh, he missed. There's someone behind us. What? Whoa, uh, Fuji, Arumi. Why are the stone? Why are there stone eaters here? Leave immediately. Hey, hey, hang on a sec. This counts as outside of Silver Scale Village. No, we got the right to be. We got a right to be here too. How dare you think that stone eaters may enter our sacred ruins? Um, these two are candidates for the diamond in the rough trial, just like me. They have just as much uh, right to be here as I do. Oma, what Kai says is true. If we take them with us, we may be able to find out if it's possible for two candidates to clear the trial together. Perhaps even both can become diamonds in the rough. Two as you please. In exchange, I will hear no more of the underground stone eater settlement. Not one more word. It's not the business of outsiders. That's not Kai. I'm begging you as well. Please leave the settlement to us. Fine. Yay, we're saved. Sorry about all the trouble. I'm Fuji and this is Arumi. Hey, hey, hey. You know, Arumi's so cute. No, it's us who should apologize. Hmm? How's this thing supposed to open? Kid, you're not looking for a door here, huh? Uh, oh, it's ruins you should search for, not doors. Uh, all right. Hey, kid, could you and a roomie try standing here? Whoa! Nice. It opens. Sweet. So why are you aiming to become the diamond in the rough, kid? Huh? Well, um, brother. Sakan, so move it. Uh, brother. Um, I'm very satisfied with my life after joining the Federation, so I just wanted to thank you. Oh, for your family. Oh, what a brave boy you are. That's it. Well, you and Ruby have to aim for Diamond in the Rough together. Oh, my God. What a 
not a baby. Seriously. Uh, let's see. You both want to take back something that was stolen from you. I'd say that makes you birds of a feather. Oh, we're at the bottom. That means another trial will start. Hmm. Seems like we've hit a dead end. Really? The one in the Holy Dragon Village was nothing like this, right, Koo? Yeah. Which must mean the trial starts right here. Hmm. I welcome you, O oh children who seek to become the diamond in the rough. This art looks great. I am Amethyst, one of the twelve stone signs. The trial I present to you is a decision. D trial is a decision? The way to gain the power of Amethyst is by holding that stone in your hands. Huh? That's all? However, holding the stone will cause yonder mountain to spew a torrent of flames. Torrent of flames? You mean an eruption? Now, children, ponder your decision well as you gather your own power and forge your heart's own true path. Your decision is precious. Make sure it honors your inner truth. If there's an eruption, the Silver Scale Village will be reduced to rubble, right? Yeah. But if I don't grab that stone, then I won't clear the trial. This is pretty tricky. Koo! Stop her! Stop that little girl! What? What are you doing? Why are you stopping me? Akaboshi! Oh, sorry, kid. This isn't a decision for us. We only see one choice. They're just like, fuck this. We're going to grab the amethyst. Arumi's choice uh, shakes the very earth itself. Fuji, Arumi! And this chapter is titled uh, Determination. Why? Sorry, kid. If we're choosing between power and the mainlanders, the answer is an easy one for us. That amethyst is beautiful. Return that crystal to its rightful place this instant. Return it? Fuck that! You're kidding, right? Lapis Lazuli! Ooh! Purifying thread! Let's go! I guess you're really not gonna make this easy. That strange feeling he gave me when we first met was hostility after all. Yeah, of course it was. Not bad, Mr. Former Stone Sign. But is it really worth going to such lengths just to save that village? After all, you know what they've been hiding underground. Arumi! Put that crystal back, I'm begging you. No, no, Arumi's gonna be the ne um, next, oh my God, Arumi's gonna be the diamond in the rough. I understand how you feel, but you can't let innocent people get caught up in this. Don't you know how many people could die? Arumi don't understand, so how come, how come? Ooh, she, she don't understand, Oh, I can't hear her. How come Arumi's house got burned? Oh no, how come Arumi's house got burned down? Mommy dad, and daddy, everyone killed. Those guys, um, oh, those guys wanted our horns. Arumi wants her own island, too, just for stone eaters. I want to be the diamond in the rough. So I'm going to keep it, okay? Oh, no. This is, bitch, you know different than those motherfuckers. This is a cycle of hatred. She already has the amethyst power. That's right. How many decades have us stone eaters endured this? That history is why we won't back down an inch. Even if it means we obliterate that village, I'll see that this child becomes a diamond in the rough. Oh, here we goes. A petrified beast? Ooh, shit. Everyone, get down. Ooh. Amethyst, here we go. Purple barrier formation. Ooh, okay. He got away. I'm surprised. Guess that current stone sign really exceeds his reputation. Hmm. It's really okay not to kill them? Not yet. Then we gotta say bye-bye? No. We still got some work to do. Damn it. I can smell sulfur. Does that mean the volcano is actually going to erupt? Let's get out of here right away. This is all my fault for laying those two into the ruins. My fault. Wait. Your decision has yet to be made. But that girl already made the choice, didn't she? Others' decisions are of no concern. In this world, you must still make a decision. Then can I decide to stop the volcano's eruption? Impossible. Even if you were to return uh, the crystal or choose not to take its power, the wave of flame would not be stopped. Then if I cho choose power, even greater waves of flame shall spill forth. You can't be serious. Then how could I choose that? I... I... I'm a fool. I won't stand for my village being endangered any further. That's enough of this ridiculous trial. Brother, my apologies, Alma. This concerns the boy's family. Let him make the decision himself. 
And if he chooses family, then it's what he chooses. If he does, I swear to you that I'll protect your village. Kai, I agree to allow those two in here with us. What happened wasn't your fault. Listen to your heart when you make your decision. Don't worry, whatever you choose, you'll still be my apprentice. Aww. That's right, now I remember. Arumi wants her own island just for stone eaters. What it, what it is I want to do. Ooh, Kai makes his decision. All right, let's get to chapter 47. Hmm, and this chapter is titled The Sound of Attack. Is it me or does something stink? Come on, buddy, you may be a regular, but that's just rude. <laughs> I mean, there's a certain stench of sulf um, sulfur in the air. Whoa, don't tell me that was Dorsal Fin Mountain. Yeah. An eruption that could swallow the whole village is coming? There's no time to explain in detail. We must evacuate all the citizens to safety and prepare to deploy the crystal barrier. What? What's the danger level? We don't want um any panic, so it's set to level three. See to it that the young and elderly are moved first with protection. Prepare the crystal barrier. Assemble all academy staff. Volcano has certainly um, had a spike, sudden spike in activity. Well, how long do we have before it erupts? Considering the number of gas vents in the crater temperature, I'd say four to six. No, we only have three hours remaining. Three hours? Um, Lord Alma, is there anything we could do to help? Tell me of your decision. Will you take the amethyst power, adding to the number sacrificed, or will you abandon your desire and take your leave? This is a child we're talking about. How could he not put his family before some villagers he's never even seen or heard, nor heard of before? I don't need it. Are you sure? Your family's lives are on the line, right? I remembered something. What I want is to save my family, not to necessarily become the diamond in the rough. Akaboshi, Ku, I'm sorry. We're back to where, um, where we started again. Thank you, Kai. <laughs> Dude... I love this. I love that, you know, he remembered what he was trying to do. He's like, I'm here, to, I'm not here to become the diamond in the rough. I could care two shits about that. I'm here, I'm going on this journey to find a way to save my family. If that means becoming a diamond in the rough in the process, fine. That's what will happen. I don't give a shit. If I have to find another way to do it, fine. I'll do that. But, if I have to get, if this means, if becoming a diamond in the rough means I have to kill people in the process, no, nah, I don't want to do that. That's going to sit, that won't sit right with me. Okay, then now let's get back to the village. There's no need for a child's help here. <laughs> Leave this to the adults. What does Oma plan to do? His stone amethyst has the abil uh, ability barrier. Its maximum extent can cover this entire village. What, you mean we can block the lava with this barrier? Um, that would be impossible with this power alone. The wider the area covered, the thinner his barrier becomes. A barrier big enough to cover the entire village wouldn't be able to fully block the incoming lava. Um, that's why he needs uh, to use the village's technology to enhance the power of the barrier. He'll gather all the village's crafter, um, crafter's guiding force and flood it into the barrier using a huge machine. Will all that guiding force be enough? Honestly, no. Dorsal Fen Mountain would have uh, quite the destructive power should it erupt. Our predecessors coexisted with the volcano by foreseeing disaster and escaping rather than preventing anything. So that barrier is ultimately a way to protect citizens who fail to escape. Seeing how little progress has been made with the current evacuation, we can expect considerable losses. Hey, what's that? That swarm coming toward us. It seems that the evacuation will not go as smoothly as we'd hoped. Oh no! Flying petrified beasts spotted due west, estimated at 100, no, 200? Damn, are they taking the opportunity to finish us off? Take on the petrified beasts first and no, we mustn't. Lord Alma, just the barrier will put your guiding force at its limits. Um, limit. The guards will take on the petrified beasts, but with that many, are you truly the weakest stone sign? Alma, we'll take care of the petrified beasts. Kai, can you get me um can you get me a foothold? Coming up, let's go. Ruby, the end of the blooming flames, let's go! Now's our chance to deploy the barrier. Amethyst, here we go. Purple world barrier. This art is looking good. That thing's huge! Just as I feared, it's too fragile. Begin infusion of guiding force. Brother, are you okay? Be wary of making too many enemies. 
but also of those who call themselves friend. I haven't fallen so low as to be worried about by the likes of you. I'm sorry. However, as a member of the Mining Federation, I order you to stamp out the petrified beasts that have invaded our village. Yeah! Yes, sir! Let's go! We have three hours until Dorsal Fin Mountain erupts. We gotta eliminate these petrified beasts before then. We must complete uh, my brother's barrier and stop that eruption. Lord Oma, even if you were to include Akaboshi, I don't believe you would have enough guiding force to have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes to protect this village. Ruler's, uh, ruler's determination. All right, we got a couple more chapters to go. Because we have 48 and we got 49. All right, let's go. An unstoppable eruption. And chapter 48 is titled The Line That Divides. Volcanic smoke and earthquakes, not to mention a mob of petrified beasts. Ooh, this is no laughing matter. But master... Um, I'm worried about Kai and Ku. Can, can I leave you here to guard the house? He's really come uh, come a long way. Aw, don't be silly. I'm obviously going with you, but here's the problem. How are we supposed to get inside the village? Bunch of conservative old fogies not letting, uh, letting us stone eaters in. Hang on, are they arguing with the guards? Please let us into the village. Our children are inside. Oh, shit. Absolutely not. The village is currently on high alert due to an invasion caused by petrified beasts. Furthermore, there's um, a level three evacuation warning because of the volcano. I want to go and get my child. No, my grandpa can't even walk. Hmm? Really, Kurakani, your voice is crackling. Is cracking. Uh, why are we even using this all ultra... <laughs> <laughs> You two over there. Oh dear, we're busted. What do you expect? Lower that hood. A stone eater? Um, we were also informed of a young female stone eater amongst the swarm of petrified beasts. Just as I thought, this uproar is some kind of stone eater rebellion. You plan to crush us from the inside out, huh? Hang on a second, what are you talking about? We don't know anything about a rebellion. Why do you have a mainlander child with you? You think you could pull wool, um, uh, the wool over our eyes, do you? Using a child like that, um, uh, maybe you should be apprehended. This is bigger than I, a bigger pain than I expected. Uh, Kerr, you lot have really started to, hmm? huh? Him, huh? Arrest him! Arrest him! Arrest him! All of you, stay back! This could be dangerous. Get him! These are fucking racist. God, get the stone eater! Yeah! From behind? H help! Petrified beast! Ah! Mister, run quick! I oh no! Yeah, guess who's gonna save your ass now? This specially crafted bullet contains toxic cinnabar. Yeah, I now think of my girl cinnabar in Oseki no Kuni. I'm still pissed that um that uh cinnabar is gone, fuckers. Cinnabar, you had to be a fucking sheep. Yeah, go right, right in the fucking head! Woo! You there, take your hands off that weapon this instant. I knew it was you sto- This motherfucker just saved you! I knew it was you stone eaters coming to attack us all along. Kid, this is no time to indulge your wild ratings, old man, imbecile! Get over here, just shut your trap and watch! Hey, those cursed stone eaters, who does he think he is? he's fooling pretending to save us? Motherfucker, he just saved you! Hey, old man, give it a rest, would you? He wouldn't understand, kid. Eh? They have a terrible grudge against us. A stone eater would never save us ma uh, mainlanders. Master, why would a stone eater like you adopt me, a mainlander? Hmm. Mainlanders and stone eaters have a certain line that divides them, don't they? Ah, the title of the chapter. My family um, was killed on that so-called line. In the village where I grew up, there were stone eaters who would poach our horns. I thought my family and I would be killed as well, but we were saved by a mainlander who came to stop the hunting. Are you all right? Because we were being taken away, uh, taken to safety under his protection. My father um, killed my mother and younger brother. <gasps> People who heard their cries for help caught my father and saved me. Well, why would he? The Stone Eaters are the chosen people, a proud race. Receiving charity from a mainlander is unacceptable. If it means selling our pride at the hands of a mainlander, I'd rather die by my own hand. So that's how I got tangled up in this um, in this line. And that same line has always accompanied me in every action I take. Such as when my apprentice asked me, why would you rescue someone like me? 
When someone has doubts about me, it's all too sad. That's why I'll never draw a line. Aww. My master isn't pretending or trying to fool anyone. All he wants to do is save people. I was able to get rid of most of them, yeah. Yes, the issue is that armor got... See, he's trying to do the right thing. He was saved by Mainlander. And he just returned the favor. And yeah, his family was killed by his own father. Like, people are so stupid. And the sad thing is, is that racism still exists. It does. Ra yeah, racism exists. But like... It's just ridiculous, man. This is so freaking insane. Um, let's see. Master, um, let's do this. To, uh, let me read this part again. I'm sorry. Um, the issue is that guy, that armored skin, in, um, off, um, armored skin of his is too tough. I've got to get behind him. Master, let's do this together. Yeah. Wait, if you're truly saving people, then I certainly can't sleep on the job. Oh, what a gentleman you are when you find, um, oh, what a gentleman you are when you finally come to your senses. His sentiments have broken through the divide. Yeah, now yeah, you, you fucking moron, seriously. Are you ready? Here's the mission, to rescue Silver Scale uh, Village from the erupting volcano. Uh, we got to um, complete, phase one is complete Oma's barrier plus phase two, exterminate the petrified beast and evacuate the citizens. So Oma's um, pondering how to complete his barrier. These are fucking cute ass avatars, let's be real. Akaboshi and Kai are in um, close combat with Arumi and Arumi is wrecking havoc with the petrified beasts throughout villages in uh, the surrounding mountains. These are going to be Neroids, watch. Um, Saka Sakan and Ku are exterminating petrified beasts who uh, snuck into the village. And Benito and Kuragani notice something strange going on in the village and attempting um, attempting to reach their friends. Oh, look at the turtle! It's so cute! So the final chapter of this live reaction is going to be for Foreshock. It's going to be, yeah, it's titled Foreshock. Here we go. Are you sure you're all right with those wounds? Nothing for you to worry about. Anyway, you may be a sniper, but maybe you should worry, be worrying about yourself instead. So kind of you to care, but his head co um, more than covers for my missing leg. How exactly? Now, here they come. You take on the small fry and leave the big boys to us. Don't you dare order me around. Kurgana, you got this? Consider, uh, considering the magnetic field, hmm, um, considering the magnetic field here, the magnetic force setting should be 25 to 75, which means the carbon and oxygen balance bounce would be and then the softness needed to be, um, adhere to your form. I've got to be careful of the bounds and guiding force I inject. Hmm. Here I go. Iron ore. Iron heart of fire, too. This looks good, awesome as hell. Fine. What? Yeah! He's flying! Yeah! Knowing the precise combination of magnetic and guiding force needed for flying, the delicately constructed form perfect, uh, perfectly fitted to one's weight and shape. The bad ability is what makes my apprentice a true genius. Yeah! You would tuck it in your sleep? You ain't gonna hit us at that speed! Yeah! Dude, sorry about- Yeah, you ain't sorry about that. Stop it. Cinnabar, dragon's final touch. Cinnabar is still with us. <laughs> well, uh, well, an alliance between mainlanders and stone eaters, not bad, huh? Yeah! You might have over! Let me apologize for my overwhelming rudeness, and I would also like to thank you for saving our citizens. You saved us? Stone eater? It was nothing I didn't do this to be thanked, you know. Furthermore, your fight against that monster just now was truly a thing of beauty. Uh, Master, let's hightail it back to Kyan and fast. Please accept me and my friends. Um, um, Master, let's go now. <laughs> oh, God. The barrier surrounding Silver Scale Village. Are you alone? I'm alone. But I don't have a problem with that. I wonder where Fuji is. I don't know, but if we loosen our hold here, those petrified beasts will destroy the village before the volcano ever does. Plus, if she has already cleared a few trials, Amber, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! So, um, summon a first, uh, 
Summon a forest flower. Oh, shit. What is that? Usually I'd say it'd be unfair to team up against a little girl, but I don't think that's the case here. Damn, what the fuck? She definitely cleared some trials. Inside Silverscale Village. Um, now go. Get to safety while you can. Thank you. Lady Sakan, Lady Ku. Um, Gramps. What are you doing here? It's too dangerous. You need to evacuate. We've got an emergency. It's Lord Oma. No, what? He left a note stating that he was going underground. This was left on the disc along with it. This is his earring as one of the 12 stone signs. Lord Oma, he's planning on giving up his seat as one of the 12 stone signs. Oma has made up his mind and his destination is he's going to that slave mine. He is. He's going, he is going there to ask for their help. He has to be. I think I know what he's doing. He's going down there, and he knows um, what he has to do to do it. He's giving up his position as the stone signs to ask the stone eaters to help um, him protect the village. That has to be it. He knows that he can't remain a stone sign um, as long as uh, he can't get the stone eaters to help him um, as long as he remains a stone um, a stone sign. That has to be it. That really sucks that he has to do that, but, I mean, what else can he do? Especially if, if um, it means to protect the village, but he's crossing the line. He's taking that step to cross the line to stop this cycle of hatred. This is going to be very powerful. I mean, we've seen this kind of thing um, in other series before, and the series that really comes to mind is... Um, is in Twin Star Exorcist. That's what this is really giving me in particular is very, very Twin Star Exorcist. Um, when we, we saw uh, um, the uh, Exorcist and the Basara like coming together to um, to fight uh, Sakanashi, that's what this is giving me. And I'm not mad at that at all. This In, in Twin Star Exorcist, it was very powerful. And here, yeah, it's going to be powerful here as well especially if it's executed correctly. And and, and same with Twin Star Exorcist when we have the disbanding of, um, of the 12 families. What do you think is happening here? I think at some point there is going to be a disbanding of the 12 stone signs. I think there is. I'm calling that now. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I'm going to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more... Um, uh, Diamond in the Rough content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.